In this DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'm gonna show you 6 tools and techniques that is gonna help you improve your color grading. Okay, so for the first one, let's say that we have graded this one. We are having 3 notes right here, which are graded. And we want to copy these on the second clip that we have on the board. And we can go one by one or select them and paste them on the second one right here. But there is a, actually a shortcut, a very quick way that you can do it. So, if you're having a clip without a grade like this second clip I have here, highlighted it, then leave your mouse over the clip that you have already graded on, and then press the middle mouse button, and the grades got automatically copied with all of its notes. And also a good thing about this is that the notes are not connected and you can make some changes on the second one, without having to fear that any change you make on the second one is gonna affect the first one. And that is amazing short trick that you can use when color grading a similar video clips. As number two, we're having automatic color grade, although a lot of people will shy away from it. So if we need to grade something, the best thing is to grade by hand, obviously. But we're having one button right here, which is called auto balance. So let's just call it auto color grade. If you press it, it's gonna correct the things that the algorithm thinks is the best for the footage. And as you can see, it takes a second or two just to apply. And also you can see that there are some changes made with the correction, with the distance and the saturation. Some things that we probably would have do if we did it in handmade. And I really recommend this one if you're not into color grading that much. It is not gonna be amazing as a color grader which is doing it by hand. But I still think in some cases it could be a decent result based on the fact that it's made in just two seconds. I'm gonna try it one more time. In this case, it's gonna add a nice little bit of contrast, which is always useful. In some other video footage it's not gonna work that well, but at least you can try. For number three, we're having a skin tone indicator, the secret weapon for correcting skin tones. Here I'm having an example of a skin tone, which is looking like it's greenish. And if we look down here at the scopes, we cannot really see where we should go. So that means that we can try to fix it only by using our eyes or actually not because there is a tool for that. So we're going down to the scopes and we change the parade to vector scope. Then check the field show skin tone indicator and voila, we're gonna have a corrector skin tone right here. And now we're having way much more information than the parade was giving us. And we can change the skin tone not by eye, but using the vector scope. Now I increase the hue by a tiny bit and I'm done. Now you can see before a greenish and after perfectly aligned skin tone and also rather quick. As number four, I'm going to show you a trick which you can determine the values of each individual pixel. Select your qualifier right click on the video and select show picker RGB value and you will have the RGB values displayed on each pixel. So for example if you want to check the shadows right here in the corner we're having a lot of blue because B is on 32 and the other two values are on 7. Or another example if we go to a different clip and for example right here we're having quite a neutral shadows. On this one the shadows are quite colored and you can do the same for the highlights. So this is a quick tool, so just let the program give you the right information about each pixel in case you don't know how off you are. As number five, we're gonna deal with some issues that are mostly done where recording on ISO. This one, for example, is recorded in 3200. And that is most of the time you are having a lot of noise in the shadows. And also that noise is colored. And also you can tell that by me moving the picker, you can see the values are very varieties of colors. And I'm gonna check also the skin tones on his hand, you can see that mostly it's going on red. So how can we fight this noise in the shadows? First I'm gonna turn off the picker values. We can start out by going to the curves right here. And on the curves, click on the fifth icon, which should be luminosity versus saturation which is gonna allow us just in two clicks to remove the saturation from the shadows. And that is very simple, just make a point at the low end. And when you did that, you can go to the first point and drag the shadows down. 
And now, as you can see on the footage, our shadows are not so reddish and they are not so colored, they look much more natural and much more, let's say, high quality. So before, it is all red and noisy and after, way much cleaner. And yes, we do lose a little bit of light, but it's well worth it at the end. And number 6, if for some reason you are in the edit tab and you need to check your scopes, you're gonna probably go to the color page, you're gonna check them and then come back to the edit tab. But you can actually see them here as well. Just go to the workspace, find the video scopes and firstly turn them on and you're gonna have a multiple color scope pages inside the edit tab. And of course you can resize it and customize the windows as you're liking. And I recommend you watching this video right here, I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more and see you in the next one.